So Dr. Woody, you are helping us, helping the seminary launch our MABC program in DC. I'm so excited. You're pretty excited. I'm about ready it. to go. In my so, former life, I actually was a Wall Street banker. Yes. And I worked in New York City. My husband, who was also a career professional, at one point he became ill. Mm -hmm. uh, he went home to be with the Lord. One of the things that became clear was I had a passion for sharing my faith. I could mm -hmm. do that and I wanted to do that. It also became very clear to me though that I didn't have a theological foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew the Bible, but mm -hmm. I didn't know the Bible the way I wanted to know mm -hmm. the Bible. One of the things, again, that attracted me to our program is the strong biblical and theological experience that mm -hmm. came from those additional courses mm -hmm. that we took here. There's not ample opportunity for this kind of training that's uniquely at DTS. Our program is a lengthy program. Yeah. Uh, more so than... Unashamedly, we're saying... More so than the average program. So, I, as I see it, it will be a part-time program because so many of the students mm -hmm. who at least are expressing interest right now mm -hmm. are working professionals. They've got so, other careers. They, yeah. East Coast communities, they're scratching their heads and they're thinking, yeah. what else is missing in life? Mm -hmm. Because I know that's where I was when I lived on the East Coast. Yeah. What else do I really need? Yeah. What do I want to do? How can I be a person of influence? Yeah. So DC is not just an, a great opportunity, it really is a strategic move for us as a seminary. I mean, we're not going to another city, no. we're not picking, it's, it's, it seems like the Lord has led for just such a time as this. We're hoping for the MABC program, which is, you know, biblically grounded, theologically rooted, okay. but it has a professional side to it. We're not wanting to sacrifice on that either. What's that going to look like, do you think, in D.C.? For me, one of my first priorities is to establish relationships with the licensure boards yeah. where our students will be seeking licensure if that's their yeah. goal. Uh, number two, practicum sites. We want to make sure they're in the right place to learn sure. what they need to continue their professional development. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be working on that as well. I think one of the issues that students have is just I need someone to answer my questions. Yeah. And so I want to make it clear that yeah. I will be available to answer questions. And I want anyone who is interested or just thinking, they don't even know if they'll come to our program, yeah. Yeah. but to come and find out what we them have. Yeah. We will be able to walk with them and I will be there. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. As a department chairman, I could just tell you, as a colleague, I'm so excited you're going to be there doing this. Thank you. It's going to be Appreciate great. That.